After responding to a shots fired call at an apartment on Mineola Road last night, police say they found 77 year old Roy Hoffman dead with a gunshot wound to his head. Nobody deserves to lose their life or be injured over that. And, you know, it's unfortunate that we're here investigating a homicide regarding the incident. Police say it appears Hoffman arranged a romantic meetup with a woman now identified as 31 year old Catherine Deason in exchange for money. It was during that meetup where police say a second suspect, 37 year old Asmi Ibrahim, shot the victim in the head with a rifle. But what we do know is that Asmi completely unnecessarily shot and killed the 77 year old man. Police say Ibrahim stayed in his van as Deason went inside. At one point, Reportedly going to find her. Uh, we believe the victim, when Asmi knocked on the door, uh, said that uh, Catherine was not inside. That's when investigators say he tried another door. I think he thought my residence was that guy's residence. So he was like, you know, knocking. Neighbor Eric Poschek tells us he never met the man before, but spoke with him briefly before inviting him inside out of the cold. He says the interaction was short, but they had a beer together before Ibrahim went back to his van. He left my door open so I could see out, and I see him walking up with a a big gun. Poschek tells us he didn't hear any gunshots, but noticed his neighbor's door open minutes after the pair left. And I walked up there, called his name, Roy. I said, Roy. Uh, no, he didn't answer, so I walked inside. Uh, a couple feet, I saw some blood. I looked over, I saw him laying, you know, dead in the kitchen. Thanks to information from witnesses, police put out an alert with a description of the van the suspects left in. It was found in nearby Round Lake, and both suspects were eventually taken into custody. I mean, to me, he was a nice guy. Um, I don't think he deserved that. It's always tragic. Nobody never wants to see that ever, especially not in a neighborhood anywhere, period. Ibrahim has been charged with two counts of first degree murder and one count of obstructing justice. Deason has also been charged with one count of obstructing justice after investigators say she provided misleading information. Reporting tonight in Fox Lake, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.